Welcome back. This is Dan Heavey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we got a question in the group from uh, Pre-Tam. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And he was just basically wondering, how can you take an image that is inside of a column, not a background image, but an actual image inside of a column, and move it uh, either out, outside of basically any of the borders? So I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. Let me just pull the image out of here for a second. And show you what I have. I just have a standard uh, full width section for the page, and I can close that off. And then in the row, I just came in here and the columns, and I just made everything zero. And then uh, for the columns like this, I made everything zero here as well. You can always go back and forth here just to make sure that they are zeroed out. And then, of course, we put in the image element. And as you see here also, I put this red background on just the column itself just so we can see where the column is. And I will tell you right now, you're seeing a little edge over here, even though on the row we said we don't want any um, right or left. Well, standard to click funnels is there's still going to be 25 pixels of padding on the side. There's 10 pixels at one level of the column and 15 pixels at another level of the column. I do believe or one of them's with the column and one of them's with the row. I forget right off the top of my head. So it's either it's either 25 or 30 now I think about it. Um, but either way, it's, it's always going to be here unless you use some CSS to get rid of it. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take our image and we're going to put it in here and we're not seeing any red around the sides at this point at all. And actually I was thinking we should have, but uh, maybe I did have, you know, I think I did have this accidentally set. That's one of the problems with the with the numbers in the columns is sometimes they don't show at all. So we're going to make that zero. So we're not going to see the red there at all. And then let's see what well, we do still have the gray along the edge. Now, a couple different things we can do here is we can come into our column and we can come over here to advanced and we can set our side margin on here and it's just going to make it smaller and let me make my screen a little bit wider maybe now nah, we still can't see the uh, the outer edge but it stays um, okay you're seeing there the um, amount of margin along the outside of course is getting bigger so we're going to have even more gray area on that side so we don't want that either and of course one of the things you can do to make this go up or down push it out of the top or the bottom is we can go like this but now as we push down you see that the bottom of the row goes right along with it however if we put this out to like let's say 25 and then make that negative the image will actually pull up proud outside of this area well that doesn't really solve his problem he wanted to be able to flow out of the column on at least um, a couple of sides if not all of the sides so what we're going to do is we're going to set that back down to zero and we're going to use a little bit of very simple css to do this so we're going to turn on our css and we're going to say we want to grab a hold of that image and i gave the image let me kill that we gave the image data title of column image so i just came in here typed in column image hit update and that creates the data title then for this uh, for this image. It's, a, it's an attribute known as a data attribute, or in this case, we named it data title, or technically ClickFunnels names a data title. And so what we can say here is, let's say we want to go out 25 pixels in all directions. So we're just going to say here, margin of minus 25 pixels, and you're going to see it moved out 25 pixels in all directions, except it did not move upward at all. But you see here now the blue line is inside of the image where if I put my little slash there to cause a uh, syntax error, it moves back inside of the uh, image, or I'm sorry, outside of the image. And so we know it has moved out all the way around, except it's not being proud at the top. And when I did this the first time, I thought I had it be proud of the top, but I think I had it this set to minus 25, which now that I think about it, yeah, see, now that works. The reason why is because margin top is actually set inside of the, um, the style attribute inside of the CSS. So in order to get this to work over here with just 
the minus 25 like this, we have to override that style attribute by putting in an exclamation mark and then the word important. Now we're proud of everything all around, all the sides, top and bottom. And then I was looking at this going, well, that's kind of clunky at the top. I got this swoopy little line down here at the bottom. So let's just put a little border radius on there. And so we did a little border radius on just the image itself, not on the entirety. So you got the image wrapper and then you have the image. And why don't I just show you all what I'm talking about there. So we'll click on the image and we got our image wrapper right here, which is the entirety of that image element. And then there's the actual image itself, as you can see, as the child element inside of it. And we just want to target just that child element with our border radius. And so we did a top left. We always go top left clockwise way around. So in this way, it would be in the way you're seeing it. So we're going to stop, start at the top left at 15 pixels top right of 15 pixels and then both of them at the bottom will be zero because like I said we already got these swoopies down here and that wouldn't really work out. So that's how we can do it like that. That's nice if that's what he was looking for. But now let's assume you don't want it going out all of the edges. You only want it going out a couple of the edges. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, again, start with the image wrapper element. I mean, yeah, the image wrapper element right here. And we're going to say, first off, we want to set the position to relative. And relative means we're going to set the position of this element relative to where it currently exists. There are other positionings that you could put in there. But we're saying we want to position it relative to where it currently is. And what we want to do then is we want to move the top up 25 pixels. So we'll just say here now top 25 pixels and that moved it down 25 pixels. And now you're seeing the red behind it. But now let's put a negative sign in it and it pulls it up by 25 pixels. And now what we also want to do is we want to move this to the right uh, by 50 pixels. So we're just going to take off again our syntax error here and move it to the right 50 pixels. And I had done it 50 pixels because pre previous to that you saw I had accidentally left a little bit of padding around the sides. And so that pushed us all the way around here. So if we were now to come in and take out that background color, it's still not going to be perfect because we're going to have this white down here at the bottom. So honestly, you wouldn't use this picture, um, but you would still have this down here. And then if the entirety of this row was white as well, I think we're going to kind of then lose the effect. Yeah, and no, but see so now, let's say we want to go up even further. Let's say we want to go up 50 and... Um, Let's go right 50, so it pushes it over further, but maybe we want to make it go the other way, and we can say we want this to go left 50, and it'll pull it up over here to the left, but now, of course, we're going up over the text as well. So that should give you a pretty good idea. Obviously, we have top and bottom is another one, and then we have right and left. So bottom would do the exact same thing, but it pulls it down by 50 pixels outside of where it started. So you can see where the row is here. So you can imagine where the image started and this says, okay, take from where it was relative position and pull it down by 50 pixels. So there you go, a couple of different ways that you can take an image inside of a column and essentially place it anywhere you would like. If you got any questions, just let me know.